So James Harden, at times during the regular season, certainly looked like a player destined for greatness. He didn't take, he think, believe he took one shot. I'm going to look this up, right? In the last final eight and a half minutes of game five, led to a lot of criticism. He had to be more aggressive. Now, T-Mac, he was making the right basketball play in some of those times, but he didn't take over the game. What do you think he no, has to do it's, tonight? Making the right basketball play is fine, mm -hmm. but when you have an opportunity to win that game, when KD goes out and come back home, up one on your home court, you got to be as, as aggressive as possible, right? You got to put your stamp on it. This is how you build your legacy, mm -hmm. right? Don't give me uh, you making the right play, being passive. Don't put the game in other players' hands, right? You, you the best player. You the MVP for this team, MVP for the league. You have to put your stamp on it. it it's no other way to put it. So now, with you losing that game, you have put amounts, the amount of pressure that you put on your shoulders coming into game six on your home court and no KD. Oh, if you haven't felt pressure before, <laughs> you're going to feel it tonight. <laughs> you think that's sure. true? Yeah, that's for sure. I mean, and any player knows that going into a game like that, and you have Chris Paul, which is fine, but mm -hmm. like you are James Harden. Right. You know, you are James Harden. Even the Chris Paul is looking for you to take over. Right. And, uh, that James Harden, the beard that has to be on display tonight for them to have a chance for sure. I'm just, I mean, I just look at it. Don't make the right basketball play, right? <laughs> Take over the game. Okay. Right? You, you've been doing that all season long. Right. Don't put us in precarious positions that, you know, we uncomfortable with now that the game is on the line. No, the game is on the line. Take over the game. Right. Well, I mean, look, people criticized him for that through the regular season, but it is what got them here. And you can't just start to change things no, up. No, don't change playoffs. it up. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't know. You talk about the pressure in this building. T-Mac just said all the pressure's on them tonight. You've played in this arena. you played on this team. What is it like here? What is it like on the bench when people get nervous in Houston? Um, first off, they, to me, top-notch fans that I've, I've ever mm -hmm. played in front of. So, uh, you go hear it. You go feel it. They go, the expectation is going to be high. T-Mac, you play here, you know. Um, they want to win. Mm -hmm. uh, they want to see James Harden they, that they've been seeing all year. They want to see Chris Paul that they've been seeing all year. And um, they want a W, and, that's, and I think that's the fans' mindset. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> if, if this is not the, the perfect road to the NBA Finals for the Houston Rockets, <laughs> you, you, you take uh, Golden State to seven games last year, right? right. With a healthy KD, no Chris Paul. So you come into this this series right here. Katie goes down in game five. You have two games to close this out and make it to the Western Conference Finals. Now, I think they could beat whoever, you know, they face next if they get through this series. It is the, it is the, the easiest road to well, the finals since James Harden and Chris Paul has been teammates. Well, certainly there, there can't be an excuse, right? So last no year excuse. it was like, hey, Chris no. Paul went down. No. No and excuse. I'm not saying that was a fake excuse. That was real. It was real. Chris Paul did go down. This year, they are playing against a team without that team's best player. And this is so. what and this is what you wanted coming right. back into this seat. This right. is what you wanted. Let's well, see it. Well, Clint Capella said it right before yeah. the series. Yeah, he he goes, it. "We get to beat the best to be the best." So here they get their chance. Yeah. I want to talk about another guy. I know you both have so much respect for Damian Lillard. Ooh. Woo! He was in that do-or-die situation last night. Dropped 32 points, helped the Blazers stave off elimination. Included a 17-point third quarter. He really found his rhythm. Now Denver is at home home in game seven and guys I got to tell you the numbers aren't great home teams numbers aren't great for Portland um, the home teams win 79 percent of the time in game sevens mm. so going into this game seven I hate to say I was on the 21 end of that. <laughs> I'm sorry, the, T Mac. The 21. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry to bring it up. <laughs> Who do you trust more though the Blazers and Nuggets in game seven? I'm going with the I'm going with the Nuggets. You are. Yeah, I, I just think best home record uh, in the Western Conference, and, and you know they I, I think in this series they have the best player. Mm -hmm. Jokic has been unbelievable, uh, facilitating, rebounding, uh, just scoring the ball, leading, um, and and that guard play. You know, with with Gary Harris, the defense that he's playing on Dame, I think has been uh, phenomenal this series, and Jamal Murray is just one of the young up-and-coming superstars in this league that we're going to be talking about for quite some time. Now, Dame and CJ, I think, going to do that thing. I just think not having Nurkic in a moment like this right. is going to come back to bite them. What do you got? Uh, I'm going to go Portland. Oh, you're going with the 21%. Yeah, I'm going to go with the 21. <laughs> I just feel like uh, 
Rodney Hood has been playing fantastic. He has. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Rodney, man. Yeah. He's been he's been balling, and um, if he could take anything away from you know his experience with Cleveland, maybe this is it. Uh, Seth Curry, uh, I know he got ejected last game, but he's been playing well throughout the playoffs. So, and you know, like he said, Dame Lillard and, and CJ, they some bad boys. Man. Yeah. Them boys can put the put, put the ball in the basket. So. I hope it's a good game. It has to be a good game. This going to be game seven. Yeah. Game seven are, are good. I got to say, I mean, we all know how good Damian Lillard is. I do feel like this playoffs, more people are even seeing just yeah. how clutch he is. I like that more people are seeing how good C.J. McCollum is because oh. he can score the basketball. And it's been fun Listen, watching him he, when Dame's been pressured and doubled and, and all that stuff to see C.J. be able to take see, it this over. See, is, this is what I like to tell some of these younger, younger guys, that C.J. is not the most athletic player. He's not the fastest. He's not the quickest. Mm -hmm. But he's super skilled. Yeah. Yep. Super skilled, able to create space and get his shot on anybody. Yep. And you don't have to be the fastest or the tallest. Like, his man, I love what I'm seeing from CJ. Yeah. 